Hello and welcome to episode 26 of Regrowth. So last time we got ourselves a wand focus of equal trade, which we were allow allowed us to go into the nether and grab all sorts of nether ores without using Tinker's Construct. And that's basically what's my focus last time. We also built a few, uh, you know, Thomcraft items, which was good. But now we have a bunch of these ores so we can actually start basically getting what we need to make some of these seeds so we want to finish off basically not what the world enables but what the world is built from uh, but what were, what the world enables i finished off camera i got all of the ores you need to basically you know get uh, osmium cobalt sulfur diamond emerald ardite so i went through the entire thing including osmium which requires manilium basically which i could do with the one focus of equal trade so I'm sort of cheating the system a little bit, I guess. But we can claim that reward, which gives us a bunch of blue tile and a bunch of, a bunch of osmium, which is fantastic. I'm not going to worry about the osmium right this second, but we are going to need it. And that didn't unlock anything else for us there. So we are going to get into more tech stuff, but uh, what I thought I would do is go into what the world is built from and finish off. We hadn't finished uh, all the strong seeds yet. We still needed the regeneration and the root tile. And the root tile seed uh, we're going to need... Uh, block of impure titanium, which we're going to need to basically make some, you know, melt down some rutile ore. So we're going to need to cook up some of this uh, rutile ore. And uh, uh, let's do 16 for now. Is that not... Can I not... Blast Furnace. Ah, okay. It's just got interesting. All right. Well, let's go into what the world enables. And uh, this, I think, is a Blast Furnace here. So we need to make a Carpenter to unlock that quest. So we might as well finish off the Carpenter. Uh, carpenter. We haven't made one. Uh, we need some bronze, and I think the only way to make bronze is in the Tinker's... I think it's the only way to make it is in Tinker's Construct. I, I don't think there's any way of making bronze. Uh, so I guess we'll grab some copper and some tin. And we haven't really used our smeltery, so uh, let's, let's go for it. Uh, three copper for every one tin, so... Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. To everyone, ten. Um, so we'll we'll melt that up. Uh, we can do one more set. Why not? We might need some more bronze for some stuff. So we'll melt that up. Um, this is going to take a little bit more uh, effort than I thought. That's okay. Uh, the other one that we need to make is the regeneration seeds. So we might as well do that since I've already made a regeneration potion. Uh, I need to make a spell ash, which is from regeneration, which is from regeneration with the glowstone, which is from an awkward potion with the gas tier. And I can make gas tiers by the dozen now, so it's not a big deal. So we put our regeneration potion in there. One, two, three, four, strong essence, a seed, and I believe it was, uh, I'm gonna have to look that up because I can't remember. Earth and spring. Earth and spring. That's going to go, and then we're going to need another living rock. And so we'll let that go. It shouldn't take too long. And I'm going to need my wand of the forest again. As you can see, look at that. It's pretty quick with this uh, potency and uh, velocity. And there we go. We got our, our uh, regeneration seeds, so that's good. Come over here. These should be melted. How much do we have? How did I... One, two, three. How did I screw up that? Right? It's three per one, is it not? Bronze. Sixteen 
16, 32, 40, 3 point. I just, I, I must have just done a math, Fubar. Uh, so if I have two ingots of tin in there, then uh, I should have to add, uh, oops, three more ingots of uh, copper. I must have just totally had like a, a foobar there. So we should have one ingot of tin left. Okay, yeah, that should work. Okay. So we'll get some of this bronze out, uh, which will be good. We can make a carpenter. And I didn't realize I needed a blast furnace. How terrible is that? Why am I lagging so much all of a sudden? We can uh, we can at least get one more block of, of bronze out. That's good. And this should give us 12, a couple of ingots of bronze. Oops, where's my ingot cast? There it is. Oops. How many ingots do we have left? Six. All right, we'll pour out the ingots. This is like, I think, the first time I really used my smeltery. It's kind of strange, but that's okay. We got a bunch of ingots of bronze, so this will be fine. We should be able to make a bunch of uh, forestry stuff. A lot of the forestry uh, machines, you know, require bronze. The cool thing, I guess, now that we're making the forestry machine. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Uh, we should be able to make a carpenter relatively easily. Bronze, glass, and a sturdy casing. So we just need uh, one glass. Sturdy casing should be uh, that. No. What is sturdy casing? Uh, I got to put it in the rolling machine. Okay. Ah. Well, I might need some uh, coal. I just think I just need coal up here. Uh, I haven't used power in a while. I actually haven't been down here in a while. I've just completely abandoned my, uh, completely abandoned everything down here. That's okay. Uh, so we need to use the rolling machine to make a sturdy casing. Start clicking it. It's going to use up some power. That's okay. Well, uh, Uh, some uh, water in there just to make sure Should the engine not be running oh it, it's running well how did I do that that is so strange anyway let's put that back there okay okay I can leave a, a bucket of water in here too, which is fine. We got our sturdy casing. I guess I didn't even need to power that up. Uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, work on tech a lot more. I've just been really focusing on the magic end of things, which is okay. And I don't like where it is, so I'm gonna have to come up with a better place for my uh, tech stuff as well. Uh, so now it's a sturdy casing. Oh, it was two glass, right? Should be two glass. So, and we have a carpenter. It's good, gives me uh, some water cans. I'll use those up. I shall call you Squishy Squeezer. Okay, this is a blooming industry, a bloomery furnace. Okay, your in interest in industrial is finally getting somewhere. Iron is great for some things, but isn't necessarily resilient enough. Uh, creating a bloomery furnace takes the first step towards the refining iron to be much better. Uh, wrought iron from a bloomery furnace. I've never made one of these before. What is this from? Garden stuff. Bricks. Seared bricks and a furnace. In a carpenter, of course, will make me a bloomery furnace. Uh, I don't think I have a lot of bricks. Uh, I have a few. Good. Our bricks are there, so your bricks are here. Just need four. Bloomery furnace. Okay, and uh, what else did I need? A furnace itself. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Make a furnace. Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna have to power this, but that's not gonna be hard. We have some power stuff. Uh, I think I got everything that I need to. My power is still down here. Uh, what I can do is, okay, let's go into the magical yellow bag. Grab my wrench. Now, does this work? No, okay. I'm just gonna pick up the rolling machine for now. Okay, and because I might want to power some things, let's uh, see what I have for power. Uh, I think I need wooden transport pipes. So we need some redstone. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put some... Oh, you guys can go away for now. The bronze is going to have to go in here because I don't have a home for you. Copper and tin. Okay. Uh, I just need... Let me grab some redstone because... Uh, let me just... I think I just need one of these for now. It's a uh, power input pipe. Okay. And... Uh, we use gold. Why not? I won't need gold, but... It'll be better. We use gold for now. Okay, so we can pump power into the pipe. And uh, I think what I can do is uh, put the carpenter down there. It'll get some power. Good. And does it need, it needs creosote oil. Okay, well that's not that hard. I'll just bucket it from here, because I got a bunch over here. Right, so we'll put a bucket of creosote oil in there. And where'd my second bucket of creosote oil go? There it is. Okay, got a couple buckets. How many do I need? It says eight buckets. Okay, so we'll grab some buckets. Oops. There. Boop. 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 Five. Six, seven, eight. Okay. And it's bricks. Put the bricks in there. Seared bricks. Like so. Oops, I gotta put those bricks in there. And it's a furnace, which we put in there. We put that in there. And. It is going. There we go. In a little bit of time here, we'll have a bloomery furnace. I'm gonna, I think next will be, because we need a, uh, said we need a blast furnace, right, to uh, use the rutile. Okay, we're gonna need a blast furnace. So to make a blast furnace, we're going to need uh, burnt bricks. We're going to need wrought iron, so we're going to have to work on the bloomery furnace to get that. An essence of blaze for each three blocks of a blast furnace. It's three by three by four by three. That's going to take a little bit of work to get there. Uh, but we're going to need this bloomery furnace to even uh, get started. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, we're generating uh, more than enough power here. I'm gonna need to think of some power storage and stuff. I'm not gonna keep my tech stuff down here, I don't think, in the end. And I should probably grab some coal. Uh, I'm gonna need that coal coke for the blast furnace, but that's okay. So we'll get this bloomery uh, done in no time. Um, I wasn't even realizing, that's one of the reasons I hate that thing. Uh, I wasn't even realizing that I actually needed the uh, bloomery furnace. We'll plant our generation seeds, might as well get them going and uh, just let them go, our big uh, underground field of crops. I might just leave this here, but uh, when I automate crops, which will be coming you know, eventually, I'll probably you know, only automate a few things. I won't automate all this stuff and just have all these fields down here for you know, when I want something. So if I you know, want 
want to grab some extra essence. You know, eventually I'm going to not need uh, as much essence. Although there's still some things I can do with essence once I've made all of the seeds. But, uh, you know, got to keep them coming in. I like uh, the XP stuff so that I'll be able to chant all sorts of things. And uh, hopefully the bloomery will finish up here pretty quickly. So that we can make some wrought iron. Then we may have to cut out while I make some wrought iron. Ha! <sighs> it should be done. That's only half done. So yeah, what can I do in the meantime while we are waiting for this to finish? Squeezer. Yeah, it's not that useful. Uh, but I will need another one of those. Uh, Fill it up with power. When I tease it again. All right, that's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, and I might as well make some cobblestone kinesis pipes while we're here, just because, uh... Do I have any? There they are. Assuming I need one. To finish that off, get some redstone, get some quartz kinesis pipes, that's okay. Uh, and I needed the void transport. That's the one that I couldn't finish before because I didn't have... Void transport pipe. I needed a uh, redstone. Oh, that's really simple. Let's just go upstairs and do that. Since I just need black dye, which I have, and glass, which is easy to get, and redstone. So it was black dye, redstone, glass. We're getting my void transport pipe, and that will finish off that quest maybe no now better routing need stripes diamond and emerald let's see what it says about these diamond pipes will sort items into different directions based on the filters specified by right clicking the pipe place stripes pipes will place any block that enters them into the world in front of it while unpowered if powered they will do the opposite breaking any blocks in front of them and pulling the drops into the pipe. Emerald pipes are similar to wooden pipes, though, are able to extract items from inventories much faster and can also be filtered to only extract specific items. Um, emerald transport pipe is just two emeralds. Emerald, uh, blue diamond is two diamonds, of course. And the stripes I've actually never used before. Uh, maybe I should think of something to use. And we need gold gears. So we need an iron gear. And we need tin gears. Do I have any tin gears sitting around? No. Okay. So we need. And then one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. That should do. Get the glass out of there. Tin, that should give me two tin gears. That should give me two iron gears, which I, of course, for some reason, I don't always get all of the gold there when I do it and that should give me two gold gears and then a stripes pipe is just the gold and there we go is the quest done now yay I can get emerald or diamond transport pipe it doesn't really matter uh, the diamond might come in more handy than the emerald uh, I don't I it doesn't matter They're, they cost the same I'm just gonna take the emerald for now for any good reason. A touch of color. The routing and well, 
let's go see if they're uh, this is done so we can get the bloom restarted. But uh, yeah, we did some pipe quests, which uh, have to get done eventually, right? And uh, there we go. We got a bloomery furnace. I don't know how this works. Uh, so uh, let's put it down and uh, take a look. Uh, looks like you put fuel in. And your iron. And that will give you some uh, uh, wrought iron, I guess. I, let's go check it out. Do I have to put anything in there? Let's, let's, oh, I should be able to see that. Uh, Look at wrought iron. So we need sand and iron. And is it only charcoal? It's showing only charcoal. Um, so you might only be able to use charcoal on this. Well, that's terrible because I don't really have a lot of charcoal. I don't have any charcoal. I make charcoal, but I don't really have any. So let's make some charcoal, I guess. start cooking up oops we'll start cooking up some uh, charcoal in here uh, cuz it looks like i might need the charcoal uh, we'll grab the stone out of there too charcoal copper tin so let me put some of these pipes away for now. Get rid of that. Cobblestone kinesis pipe. Uh, we're going to need uh, charcoal, I guess. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Take a stack of that. Take a stack of sand. And uh, I don't know how much charcoal we're going to need. So we'll grab as much as I can right now will be like 20 almost. Yeah, there we go. All right. We've got 20 charcoal to start. I'll be fine. We'll go down to our bloomery. And uh, we'll see how long this takes. This could take a while. Uh, put in the sand and the charcoal. And oh, I guess it doesn't take too long. Iron. Okay. Well, I'm not sure exactly how much iron I'm going to need to convert into raw iron uh, because I need to then make. I'm going to need to make some of these lattices. Um, I'm also going to need to make. Ooh, that's cool. I might, I might try making some of those candle rods. Raw iron fan, so that might be cool. I smelt it back to an iron ingot. That's not useful. Uh, wrought iron will give you steel in an infernal blast furnace. Or in a blast furnace. Okay, so we need a blast furnace. So I just need regular iron bars for that. Infernal brick is uh, not that hard to make. Need to make uh, it's from nether brick so I can make those. Uh, it's really going to be these here, so I need uh, it's going to make 16 of these. Eh, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll come back when I think I've got enough uh, wrought iron and all the other stuff crafted to make a blast furnace, and uh, then we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I think I got enough to do this. Okay, so I need. I think 48's good. I think I need 48. I think that's good. Uh, I've already made uh, some brick. Do I have enough? Uh, I think I'm one shy. I'm one shy. Uh, I thought I had enough. I think I miscalculated. I think I need. I think I need the 24. Let's grab a couple more burnt bricks. Okay, we still got some, uh, and we still got some wrought iron over here. I think. Yeah, okay. I think I was uh, one shy, but let's make, we'll make two. We'll, we'll be close, we'll be close. I guess I've got everything here. I can do it up here. Uh, so 
I should have 36 blocks for a blast furnace, which is good. I don't. Did I not detect my bloomery? Crafted it, but did not detect it. There we go. Now it's the blast furnace. Okay, so we've crafted 12 blast furnace bricks, which is strange because you're going to need more than 12. Uh, 34, yeah. That's, uh, I was right. I was right. So it's a 3 by 4 structure, but it's hollow in the middle. Uh, so if I put it right here for now, let's see. But this is the base. Like so, like so, like so, and then here and here, and there we go. We got a blast furnace. Um, and I guess, uh, is there any other uses for wrought iron? I think I looked at a bunch of like, I can make more, it's not the end of the world. Um, I guess we will start cooking up the wrought iron for steel. And I think to make steel, you actually require coal coke to run the blast furnace so you require the coal coke to run this this will take a little while how much steel does it want me to have just one one steel and I'll get some steel and I'll get some more wrought iron so that's pretty good uh, I can finish the quest with the one steel but then what I'm gonna do let me get the one steel here so we'll, oh, oh shoot uh, so we'll start that over again. Uh, we'll get the one steel uh, from from this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up the rutile ore. And then we will be in good shape. And then I'll clean up my inventory, I guess. And sort of see where we can go here. Once we get the one steel, we'll be able to finish this quest, which would be great. I'm going to have to start cooking up a bunch of this wrought iron to make more steel. Because I'm going to need steel going forward. Uh, but I need this blast furnace to make cook, cook up this rutile ore so that I can get some... Get my rutile seeds going. And uh, that'll give us our one steel. And then I, I will cook up this 34 rutile. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, but uh, then we'll make some rutile. Come on, quest. Let's finish this quest. Almost there. Okay, so we got one stealing it, and now we're going to cook up some root tile ore. I'll finish off the quest. And now you'd like to start producing more industry to aid your healing the scar that is left in the world, that is left to the ores. To do this, however, you will need more resilient metal, titanium to work with. Next step is to work on refining this metal. This can be done by using magnesium. Magnesium can be attained by melting down limestone into quicklime in the crucible furnace, then mixing it with water in a vat. You may need to expand your vat to be two by two for it to hold enough liquid to mix properly. Uh, so it wants me to get some magnesium dust. Uh, we'll, we'll work on that on another time. Uh, but we got some root tile ore here. And one of these will give us how much? Looks like one ingot. Um, so I'm going to need at least uh, a couple of these. At least this cooks pretty quickly. Got eight. Getting close to what I what I'm gonna need. I guess it'd be nice to have uh, 18. Would be nice just so that I can uh, do like uh, two blocks. So we'll we'll get that going there. We'll worry about the magnesium later. Ooh, oil bucket. I know where there's an oil, so I can I can do that. Steely resolve. New version of the iron tank capable of holding fluid under high pressure in order to store even more in the same space. Um, so you can make steel tanks from the steel that you're generating. Um, and you can make high pressure boilers with uh, the steel that you're making as well. 
rather than the uh, low pressure boiler that we had. Uh, uses higher pressure in the boiler chamber to increase the amount of steam produced, though at the expense of burning through more fuel. To go along with this, you design a new steam engine, which can produce even more power. So it's the industrial steam engine. Uh, does the industrial take uh, take steel? Sure does. Lots of steel. We're gonna have to produce a bunch of steel. Uh, we've got 18. That's perfect. That's what I want. Man, this, uh, this episode uh, it's taking a lot just to make uh, root tile seeds. <laughs> Wasn't expecting uh, to go this long, but uh, we'll get them. We're getting. We're doing it this episode. It's just it's happening. I now need to cook up these. We'll cook up the uh, 18. Should melt down, and uh, then we'll be able to make our rutile seeds, uh, which is fire, earth, winter, and summer. Let's get everything set up while we're cooking that down. Okay, essence seeds. Where's oh? I threw my strong essence away by accident. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, fire, earth, winter, summer. I believe. Uh, I got to go downstairs quickly because I accidentally tossed my uh, strong essence away. Four strong essence. Come up here. Four strong essence. We got the seeds, the four strong essence. And I think all we're missing now, winter, summer, is a block of impure titanium. Here we go. One block of impure titanium coming up. And I guess we'll get a second block of impure titanium. But here we go. And uh, very shortly we'll have our Rutal seeds. So, been a pretty successful episode so far. We got our regeneration seeds, we got our Rutal seeds coming. We also got a bloomery and a blast furnace just so that we can get this far. Um, and then... That will uh, basically clear up all of these resources. Uh, we can you know, end this quest. I'll take the strong essence. And once we're done this one, then all we have left to do is a few other you know, seeds, osmium, cobalt, iodite, night vision, sulfur, fire, slimy, and withering. And I always forget. Rock. Boom. Get all those things back. And there you go. We got our rutile seeds, which we can go and plant. And that will end the quest here, which will allow us to take the uh, strong essence as well. And there we go. We are done pretty much all of these strong essence seeds. We're moving on to the extreme essence. And then basically we'll be have done all of the resources. And then really it's just continuing to build things up. But uh, yeah, there we go. It's been, uh, oh, of course. Get burnt bricks here. I can at least pick that up. So there you go. It has been a pretty successful episode, I think, anyway. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button. And leave a comment in the comment section below because I always like hearing from you guys. So until next time, Delgaro.